Cellulite, osteoporosis, and the menopause. No woman really wants to know about these things, but learning the facts can help you do something positive about the inevitable. Keep watching to discover what can help reduce the number of wrinkles and age spots you get in old age. If this is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today, we're sharing 10 things women do not want to know about their bodies. Weaker bones. When you're young, you probably don't give much thought to the strength of your bones, but as women get older, their bones lose density and become weaker. When women reach the menopause, their estrogen levels decrease sharply. Estrogen helps to protect bones, so this reduction in the hormone can cause bone loss. That's why women are more likely to develop osteoporosis as they reach menopausal age. When osteoporosis weakens the bones, they become more fragile and therefore more likely to break. Although men get osteoporosis too, it's much more common in women. In addition to the effects of estrogen decreasing, women also tend to have smaller, thinner bones than men. That's why women are more at risk. But there are steps you can take to help keep your bones as healthy as possible. It can be beneficial to eat foods rich in vitamin D and calcium, or even take a supplement. Exercising regularly, reducing the amount of alcohol you drink, and quitting smoking are also advised. Alcohol have you ever gotten into an argument with a man about women not being able to handle their drink as well as men? Well, you're probably not going to want to hear this, but there are actually biological reasons why that is true. It's down to enzymes. There are a couple of enzymes that help the body break down alcohol in the liver and stomach. And guess what? Women have fewer of these enzymes than men. So women absorb more alcohol into the bloodstream than men. It gets even worse. We all lose these enzymes as we age. So that's why alcohol will affect you much faster as you get older. A second reason why women don't process alcohol in the same way as men is down to body fat. Women's bodies contain less water and more fatty tissue than men's bodies. Water dilutes alcohol, while fat retains alcohol, so alcohol stays at a higher concentration for longer in a woman's body. A third reason is to do with hormones. Women's hormone levels change during their menstrual cycle, and this affects how you metabolize alcohol. This is why you might become more intoxicated at certain times of the month. The Biological Clock you probably know that your fertility starts to drop after a certain age, but do you know the details? The average woman has around 300,000 to 400,000 eggs at the time of puberty. Around the age of 37 or 38, there's an average of 25,000 eggs left. And at this point, the rate that the remaining eggs decline accelerates dramatically. In addition to the number of eggs decreasing as a woman ages, the quality of her eggs decreases too. For women in their 40s, as many as 40% of pregnancy pregnancies and in miscarriage. When we look beyond 45 years of age, 90% of women will miscarry. This is compared to 10% of women who will miscarry at 20 years of age. Women can improve the quality of their eggs in various ways though. It's advisable to avoid alcohol and cigarettes. Obesity is also linked to an increase in miscarriage and infertility. Eating a healthy diet rich in antioxidants can help, as can an active lifestyle. Hormones and the menopause. We all know that women go through the menopause, but most of us don't want to know what happens to our bodies during this transition. And most of us don't realize that many changes take place for many years leading up to the menopause. This phase is known as perimenopause, and the changes are caused by a decrease in the level of hormones including estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. When estrogen declines, this can cause bone loss, night sweats, dryness down below, and hot flashes. You might experience headaches, fatigue, and insomnia insomnia too. Progesterone is responsible for lining the uterus ready for a fertilized egg. When this hormone decreases during perimenopause, menstruation can become heavier, longer, and irregular. Testosterone plays a key role in estrogen production and is thought to contribute to the libido. This hormone peaks in women in their 20s and then declines slowly. It dips to half the level of its peak by the menopause. A woman's body shape also changes at this stage in life. We'll take a look at that in more detail now. From Hourglass to Apple Women's body shapes change with age. One reason for this is a slowing down of the metabolism. During the menopausal transition, women typically gain 2 to 5 pounds. That's because of the decrease in estrogen. Women tend to store fat in their hips, thighs, and behind because the fat cells in those areas have estrogen receptors. So estrogen drives fat storage to the lower parts of the body. However, as estrogen levels decline, fat starts to store around the waistline instead. This is why so many women see their figure 
figure changed from an hourglass or pear shape to an apple. There's another type of weight gain during the perimenopause, which is associated with health problems. Some women are at risk of gaining excess fat deep inside under their abdominal muscle wall. This fat can increase the chance of cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. There are ways to help your body through these changes, though, and to maintain weight in a healthy way. Physical activity and a healthy diet are both key. Cellulite did you ever wonder why attention is paid to women's cellulite and not to men's cellulite? Rather than it being an example of sexism, it's actually because men rarely get cellulite. It's much more common for women. Want to know why? Firstly, it's to do with connective tissue. A woman's connective tissue isn't as strong as a man's connective tissue. This means it is more difficult for the skin on a woman's body to hold in fat. Connective tissue helps connect the skin and the muscle, which keeps the layer of fat between them under wraps. But when this connective tissue is weakened or gets damaged, it can no longer smooth out the skin. That's when irregular fat cells push through the skin, giving that dimply cellulite appearance. On the subject of fat, women's bodies make more fat than men's bodies. That's because estrogen, the female hormone, makes fat. In contrast, testosterone, the male hormone, burns fat. Not fair. But what about the increase in cellulite as you get older? That's also down to estrogen, or rather, the lack of it. Estrogen plays a part in blood circulation. This brings nutrients to the connective tissue and helps with the production of collagen. When all of this decreases, the body becomes even more susceptible to cellulite. High Heels most women wear high heels at some point in their lives. You might only wear them for the occasional night out, or you might wear them every day to work. If you're in the latter group, here's something you probably don't want to hear. High heels can cause bunions. Victoria Beckham famously declared she hated flat shoes, and she continued to wear heels to help her feel confident. But all those years of wearing high heels caught up with Posh Spice, and she was left with painful bunions. Victoria resorted to wearing flats to counteract some of the damage. So what exactly are bunions? These bony lumps form the base of the big toe, where it attaches to the foot. Sometimes they're hereditary, but more often, they're caused by external pressure from shoes. Once you have a bunion, you'll need to stay away from high heels and shoes with tight toes. You'll probably need to take over the counter pain relief and medication to help relieve the inflammation and swelling. You might need to wear bunion pads, shoe inserts, or splits. Ice packs and heat pads can provide temporary relief. If you catch the problem early enough, though, you can switch to flat, well-fitting shoes and you'll be okay. But in severe cases, surgery might be necessary. Wrinkles Wrinkles are an inevitable part of aging, but it's not necessarily the same for men as it is for women. Here's something that women are not going to want to learn about their bodies. Women wrinkle more easily than men. That's according to a study in the Aesthetic Surgery Journal. This research found that women not only had more wrinkles than men, they also had deeper lines. You're probably wondering why this is. The study pointed to women having a different muscle structure to men. But not only that, women also have fewer blood vessels and fewer sweat and sebaceous glands. All this contributes to the likelihood of wrinkles developing. It's particularly apparent around a woman's nose and mouth. That's because the muscles pull in closer to those areas as women age. However, there are precautions women can take to try to decrease the number of wrinkles they get. These include not smoking, not losing weight drastically, and avoiding direct sun exposure. It's also advisable to exercise, specifically to take a bike ride for 30 minutes twice a week. Sagging skin. We don't just get wrinkles as we age, we also gain saggy skin. And that's not something women really want to think about. When the skin on your face starts to sag, it's down to two main age-related reasons. This is the loss of collagen, which means the skin isn't so elastic, and loss of facial fat, which means the skin droops. As exposure to UV rays can break down collagen even more over time, wearing sunscreen, whatever the weather, can help reduce the effect. Some women choose to use certain products in an attempt to limit the appearance of saggy skin. Retinols and retinoids can boost collagen production. Vitamin C serums can help restore elasticity. It's not just the face that gets saggy, though. It's the belly, too. Women tend to get saggy skin across their stomachs more than men, and there's a specific reason for this. Pregnancy. The elastin and collagen in skin allow it to stretch to accommodate a pregnant belly. If a woman loses postpartum weight slowly, her skin will have more chance 
chance of retaining its elasticity. But if she loses weight quickly, her skin has less time to recover, and she has more chance of having excess skin after giving birth. In addition to losing weight gradually, exercise can help the body regain its natural shape. Drinking plenty of water will hydrate the skin and help the body to work more efficiently too. Age Spots have you ever noticed dark marks on the arms and legs of an older woman? They're called age spots, sunspots, or liver spots. These spots develop when melanin is produced in excessive amounts in a particular area. They become more common after the age of 50, and they typically form on parts of the skin that are usually uncovered like the hands, arms, face, shoulders, and legs. As you would expect from the name sunspot, exposure to the sun's ultraviolet radiation can contribute to their formation. That's because the sun's rays and tanning beds increase the production of melanin in the skin. Women might be more affected than men, particularly on the shoulders, because of the difference in the ways men and women dress. Women are more likely to wear halter neck and strapless tops than men. The Mayo Clinic advises that you can reduce your chances of developing these spots by avoiding the sun between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., wearing sunscreen, and covering up. There's also a claim that drinking coffee can help. Researchers pointed to the antioxidants in coffee as the possible reason as these antioxidants help protect the skin and repair UV-induced damage. If you're concerned about any spots that are dark or have changed in appearance, ask your doctor to check for melanoma. Check out our friends at The Things who make interesting, feel-good videos about lifestyle, pop culture, and everything viral that is sure to keep you entertained. Which of these things worry you the most, and how do you plan to deal with them? Let us know in comments, and give our video a big thumbs up! Thanks for watching!